Hi, everybody. My name is Rishi, and I'm a PhD student in uh, UCL, uh, CASA, uh, in London. And uh, my research is in uh, the urban planning process and the kind of the mechanics of how designing something works. And I run a website called Urban Flow Engine, which is kind of like a test bed for all of my, my work. Um, today, I'm going to talk about uh, really a technique and something that has not been um, talked about in this conference as far as geodesign is concerned, and that's how do you go through all of the process of geodesign. And the technique is actually borrowed from the online world and is quite pro common there. It's called A-B testing. I'm going to talk about A-B testing, how A-B testing can influence the geodesign process and my implications of you know, the planning process uh, when you have A-B testing-like techniques in involved. To, g to get started, uh, I want to go back to the simplest A-B test because I realize that not a lot of people are familiar with them. So imagine you're running a website, and the idea, and your idea is, uh, your job is to get as many people who come to the website to sign up for your service. And so you have a form and you have, a, let's say, a green button. And you're thinking, how, what can I do to improve the performance of my website? And one of the things you do is you say, well, what if I change my button and make it red? And there is no way really till the internet basically to test these kind of things. And so what you do now is uh, create a new version of your page uh, and then the server software actually takes care of, uh, of the mechanics of the test where some people who come to your web page see the, the page with the red button and some people see the green button. And you kind of then evaluate which button is working more. And that's the kind of um, way some of these websites work. And you don't even know you're a part of a test because everybody's just testing Amazon, Google, everybody does this stuff. So uh, the, the way this works is you build a hypothesis, you develop two versions of a page, you randomly show users a version, and then you, inter and you track how users interact with the page and obviously use the better performing one. I want to focus a little bit on the hypotheses because this is quite critical. Um, and so in our example, we said uh, changing my button from red, uh, green to red will potentially increase signups, and that was the hypothesis that we tested with. And I say that because uh, A-B testing has a lot of critics and, and kind of uh, has its, uh, if you don't do a test properly, uh, it's, uh, it can really you know, uh, impact your, 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 your uh, performance. Uh, and the other kind of, uh, kind of uh, comment on A-B testing is that sometimes quantitative data is alone not enough. And I'm gonna show how you kind of mitigate this in a, in a geodesign type context. Uh, and so that's the kind of the basic introduction to A-B testing. And, and kind of I want to go into the geodesign and urban planning process. And so here's a problem statement that's kind of fairly familiar. Uh, you are kind of uh, tasked to solve a problem of a location of a residential zone. And then you have a hypothesis where you can say that my one option is to do nothing. And then the other option perhaps is to extend the park. And so you draw uh, these two maps. Uh, here's uh, map A on the left and map B on the right, just showing two land use cases. Now, in an A-B testing scenario, what happens is that you assign a one single URL to these maps, and the server and the software takes care of showing uh, a version to, to people randomly or not so randomly. And then you test how people like or dislike uh, the, the plan. So here's uh, a sample URL where you can put it on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, and when people go to that URL, they are either showed plan A or plan B, and obviously all the, uh, it's a web page, so everything is tracked. And here's a, a kind of a, a screen that people might see. Uh, these are, uh, this is a screen from, uh, let's say, a plan that, that is shown, and you can see the peop users walk through the, the plan, the evaluation models, and then they can interact by actually dropping pins, commenting, or giving star ratings. So it's actually a fairly uh, elaborate interaction process uh, that can be done uh, on these plans. I want to go back to a little bit of a theory and where we all started yesterday, uh, if you were in Carl's lecture. Um, any geodesign process really works through a bunch of versions. And this is just a simplified version. Uh, you have, let's say, two requirements. And you have three variations, uh, you know, in, in, in for requirement one, you have three ideas how you could solve requirement one. And maybe you have a second requirement where you have two ideas. 
Now, this combination or combinatorial process is actually well solved by A-B testing because in an A-B testing setting, you can test within plans of a requirement or between two requirements. You just have to kind of pick and choose which one you want to show, create a test, and then just share it within your team members or obviously within the broader public. And the idea is by doing it this way, you can have quick feedback loops to your design, you can prioritize and rank designs, solve some of the design disagreements. Uh, we were having a discussion earlier where some of the evaluation models may really uh, kind of rate a design very high, but when you interact with people, they may not you know, rank it very well. So maybe that's a way to pick one design over the other um, in a geodesign type scenario. And what is more interesting, which is beyond the scope of this talk, is this idea of working and going, making your way through designs where you can mix and match and merge and can revert back to various designs as a workflow. Where you, in, in the left-hand side you see version four is really a combination of version three and version two, while on the, on the right-hand side you see we're picking a different version to create a new, new version four. And then you can test this. So everything that that kind of governs the mechanics of this merging is uh, through A-B testing. And as I said, the benefits are you can test quickly and evaluate your plans with data. Uh, you can have both quantitative and qualitative feedback on your plans. And obviously, because it's on online, you can test within your G-Design team or with the broader public. And that's it. And if you're ever in London, visit us in CASA.